what is up YouTube back at it again got another video for you guys and today we're gonna be taking a stab at Red Star Orbs for Kitty Pride that's right Kitty Pride has entered the game the third member of the Astonishing X-Men second member of the Astonishing X-Men we don't have Iceman yet okay so second member of Astonishing X-Men is in the game you can buy her if you want uh, we're gonna go for some red stars like we always do let's get into it and of course uh, some other things have been announced since the last video I made I'll be going over some of that after the red star opening no seat theory today I kind of already blew my load of my daily gold spending because I am an animal so I, well, th okay so the gold spending that that part of the seed theory not a thing but you know what I got 20 milestone orbs for this let's go I would like to get a three star of kitty pride because uh, it'd be nice a two star really just doesn't do anything for any character at all and my red guardian is probably going to be on the shelf until he gets above three or above two red star. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter how good he is. Okay, we got the, the ten on the night nurse. That doesn't feel good. Uh, nothing so far, so probably not going to be very good results. But we're going to go into it anyways. And I don't have very many orbs to open. As soon as we hit a four star, we're gonna open it. Just because I can't afford not to. I was gonna say, are we already done? That would be insane, but we're not. Go over here. Open this up. Four star cap. Almost to a five. And by almost, I mean we're about 60%. Give me something good. Give me something good. I, uh... Oh, come on now. Another blue? Oh. Pain. Oh. The, the disrespect with the ones. Why can't they just be twos? This is not going to go good. If you're opening right now, I hope you have all the luck. Because I do not have any right now. Oh no. Final orb? Anything? I'm so close to another 4 star elite. That feels really bad. Oh no. Oh no. I don't even have a way to get more. I mean, there's, of course, there's a way to get more. I'm just not gonna do it. Let's see, okay. Sorry, that's that's that portion of the video. Now for the main portion. We had a little bit of news come out in the last few days that um, there will not be an orb opening event in the near future. And they, hopefully, like, like they say they're not planning one at all hopefully that means not in the near future light and by the near future I mean the next six months because I right now we're about to we're about to go in because I'm spending these resources so I don't really care for holding on to them uh, let's start right here open one of these we take that cool now go into these here settings Go to Advanced, open multiple orbs at once. It's time. It is time. We're gonna go, yeah, hell yeah. We're just gonna go left to right. So for here, I'm trying to think. I could use some more of these. Oh, these don't open 10 at a time. Oh, we're not going to deal with that right now. We're not going to deal with that right now. Let's see. Nine gamma orbs? Sure. Very, very nice. Very nice. Yes, love to see it. Let's do it again for alpha. Oh, 24. Oh, 
Okay, so Iron Fist. That was, uh, that was pretty good. So, this is how it goes. We're gonna do blue, purple, then yellow. And now this is a little tedious because I have to kind of move my mouse. I can't just like spam the same spot. So I'm gonna try to do this kind of quickly. But yeah, the, the reason I'm doing this is I'm hoping, this is kind of like putting all my eggs in the basket. I was holding these really because uh, there might have been an orb opening event in the future. And now that they've confirmed that there won't be, there's no reason to, to hold on to these. And I was running kind of low, I was getting under 300 for some of them, which I know sounds like not like anything to really mention even, but um, that can, like 300 can be gone in a, in a couple character releases. It's not that hard to go through. So that's why I'm opening these. As you can see, probably in the flashes, I am getting the completed pieces as well, which is a nice added touch. This should set me up for a long while with any new characters I might want to build up in case there's a rework coming out for the Hand or the Ravagers. Anything like that. Now, other than that, we still don't know very much about Jubilee. She's on the horizon, so buying Kitty Pride is kind of a mixed bag at the moment. Real Time Arena got some updates. It, it, it's no longer trying to be about knockouts, it's trying to be more about abilities. And uh, it seems like a lukewarm reception, kind of like it missed the mark a little bit on it's what it was trying to accomplish. But um, for me, my, my habits haven't really changed when the, when the ability changes. like. I'm still, still just autoing with the characters I need to auto with, and it, the, the only thing that changes is that now I don't have something at the end of the week where I have to spam uh, to get knockouts. Instead, it's getting there's like I think there's three of them that each week that you can get that have like 600 abilities for like different things like one's a trait, one's an origin, and then one's a, a mixed something or other. I don't know. It's, I, I, I didn't even do it last week and I got to rank 25, so that just goes to show I won't need to do it to reach rank 100. Also a little mad that I bought into the last battle pass when it was Baron Zemo. I did not know they'd be going right for a yellow jacket with this one, especially leading up to Jubilee. Granted, buying this one won't get me to my 5 star yellow jacket, which kind of makes it easier for me not to buy it. but. It is what it is. I guess I won't be getting Jubilee on the first run. So I don't actually. I don't think I'm gonna open all of these. I'll go down to like 100 exactly, just because like you never know. You never know, and I don't need the stuff, so you never know. It might be a little different when we get to the gold orbs, because I need those a lot more than I need the blues. So, let's see, what else is going on in the game right now? Uh, if anybody's looking for an alliance, I do have a casual one that's looking for 10 people. Please just let me know, I'll get you the hookup on that. We're at 100, let's see what we got. So, 755 of those, which that's actually, that doubled my inventory. Cool. This, that was just like adding onto the pile. Uh, what about this? Very cool. And then we see I got a bunch of these completed pieces. No characters need them. No characters need them. One character and it's a hand. No characters. So you, you see this. Like this this is this kind of how it is, like all these completed pieces. I'm not gonna be using them immediately, but they're good to have in the bank. On to the purple. They announced Unfortunately, that ghost will be in the war store. You hate to see it, especially because um, the war store is already a place where uh, currency between character shards is very, very, very competitive. And on top of that, that's where they put 
tier 15 pieces, so anybody that's trying to go into DD4 is most likely not buying character shards. And unless you're close on getting Ghost to 5 star, you're probably not changing your mind on that. I know I'm not. I, I have about, I think, 100 shards ish to go to get a 5 star Ghost, and it's just kind of, it feels bad. It really does. It feels bad that they add these really, really important characters to the war store every single time. Especially when we have things like the raid store. The raid store, I have 19 orbs that I'm not going to be spending today because I have all of the characters at 7 star. It would have been a nice little bone to throw just to add one in there. Just to say, hey guys, you know, we, we see that, that some of you you know, thought this team was not the best, you didn't buy it, but you know what, we're going to give you a layup, here's one of the characters that you can farm pretty easily. Of course, that only makes sense to me as a player, it doesn't make sense from the eyes of the developer, they're trying to make money when they see people have that competitive spending habits with the war currency, they want to keep that up because it gets people to want more of the war currency, which means they can one, sell it, or two, sell things for war make it more competitive um, it is what it is I guess I'll get Jubilee on the next round hopefully hopefully there's blitzes in between I mean I got three months from whenever she drops to get at least those characters to five star and I, I just unlocked Doc Ock and I only got him to five star because of the same issue it's it's just it's a shame that I feel so obligated to step away from X23 I feel obligated to step away from Ghost just because I want to go into DD4. But once I get into DD4, things might change. The flow of Gear 15 material seems to be a lot looser than Gear 14 material. At least for me, at the point in the game that I'm at. Uh, I'm not even level 80 yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to have at least four characters within a day or two of being level 80 ready to go for DD4. So, uh, the time in between to get the other, you know, 10 characters that I'll, 11 characters that I'll need for DD4 is going to be kind of ridiculous, but that's the rate they have us going. There's, uh, there's data mined information about, uh, like an Armory 14 and an Armory 15 orb, which hopefully means we'll have a direct way to unlock gear 14 and gear 15 pieces because that would be incredible. Adding that to the game is something that will bring players back in. It'll take some of the grind away. It'll make people enjoy the game for once. I'm, I'm honestly like, I wish I could take, like, especially a character like Vision. I want to take Vision up to gear 15 so badly just because I love the character so much. But I can't in good conscience do it because there's other tech characters that are better for DD4. And I know, like, I could just say, heck it, I don't need to follow that, but I kind of do. We're going to stop at 50 for this one. Let's see what we got. 234, oh, not those. 234 for these. Okay. Very, very cool. Uh, that you don't have, I don't think you can get completed pieces of these, can you? No. It's kind of a shame that they kind of left that in the blue orb, but they didn't really care that up because that would be a really cool jackpot to get. Now for this. They really do, they give you, so it's proportionate, right? So so they give you the least amount of blue orbs, the most amount of orange orbs, and purples in the middle somewhere. The only reason I had less purple orbs is because I had to open a bunch of them a while back because I was literally running out of purple gear. But like, this makes sense because the, as the stronger your character gets, the more of each colored current, uh, colored gear pieces you'll need for the associated gear level. Like, I'm sure you've seen the math. It's something like 2,000 of the base of the catalyst to get uh, a character from, like, 13 to 14. Because obviously, it's not that big when it's the purple gear or the blue gear. I saw a video today 
Looks like Valley Flying is on track to be level 80 a couple days before me. It's just kind of good to know that I'm basically on track with, with some of the more uh, invested players, making sure I'm not losing out too much on what I'm supposed to be doing, mining my P's and Q's, getting my experience when I need to. Also, some other events that happened today, WandaVision came out today, I watched both episodes, they're very good, no spoilers, no spoilers, but uh, I'm kind of excited to see where it takes the season, and I'm kind of excited on really the, the creative freedoms that they're going to take in these shows on Disney+. Plus. I kind of feel like when you're not aiming for a box office smash, you can be a bit more creative and a bit more ambitious with with the story you want to tell because your audience is inherently less cutthroat you're going for the people that already have disney plus uh, wandavision is by no means a uh, a service seller people aren't downloading disney plus specifically for wandavision if anything it's for marvel in general which is good kind of curious how they're going to release Iceman, because I believe Iceman is another 100 shard unlock, and if Kitty's coming out now, that means Red Guardian will be done before Kitty's even in Blitz, and Emma, Emma will be finishing, I believe, right around the second Kitty Blitz, and that means we might just be heading right into another milestone, because it's, it's Emma's last, so Iceman might be the follow-up to that. It would not surprise me one bit. People are infatuated with Iceman, and uh, that team really kind of needs a big selling point. And uh, I don't think Kitty Pride is it, unfortunately. Kitty Pride's a really good character. I just don't think they marketed her as the, the big character to get for the team. They uh, haven't even really marketed Jubilee to be the big character to get on the team. They've kind of just said this is the new legendary expected and they chose Pimtech which was of no surprise to anyone anywhere it is what it is there are a couple good offers in the store right now tied into WandaVision I believe there's one for three dollars if you're a new if you're a new player three dollars for 180 character shards that is I believe a four star character unlock immediately like four star immediately right there and so if you're a new character you don't have vision or wanda unlocked go right in there spend those three dollars and get yourself a four star of one of those characters they're definitely worth the three dollars they're both uh not they're not meta but they're not bad they're they're really like vision's a very good solid tech character uh, he goes good on Avengers, he's good with Minerva on a tech team, and uh, Wanda's very good on the Supernatural team. She also has a team up with Vision, I believe. If you do end up getting them together on a team, they do stuff together that is uh, kind of cool. It's not necessarily worth breaking up the Supernatural team, but maybe in the future, when we get Morbius or Blade, uh, that might be a reality we can revisit because back in the day, Vision and, and Scarlet Witch was a really cool duo to have. In fact, they need to bring duos back something fierce. So like I know we got we just got Longshot and, Sh and Shatterstar, and they're kind of like a duo, but I'm assuming they'll get a team very very quickly actually because why not? And they'll be on the same team. Whereas uh, Vision and Scarlet Witch were never really intended to be on the same team. This, I don't think, can you get a golden drop on this? I don't know if you can. Because I don't think I've seen one yet. And I've gone through 700 orbs. So either the odds are crazy. Let me 
just take a look. Center pillar. No, I don't think you can. Well, left pillar. Wow. This is just a uh, very, very average. Very, very average. It's kind of, it's kind of sucks. It's like the blue orbs give you the best rewards for that gear tier, and then the purple, and then the gold that gives you like the, the worst rewards. But it's the opposite because you need more of the gold than you need the purple, and then more of the purple than you need the blue. It's kind of, kind of messed up how they do that, but. I totally get the marketing tactic. You don't want to give people full pieces of the purple or the gold because they're going to be in shorter supply of those anyways, but I digress. I also expect to run out of training materials somewhere in the, in the near future I'm trying to get my characters up for DD4. I do have about 40 training orbs waiting in the in the back pocket there for when the day comes i just i don't think it, it i think my my stretch of having training materials has uh, run very thin especially thanks to these spending events where i'm not spending in uh, in like a reserve i'm not being modest i'm really just kind of dumping resources every day for the course of whatever 28 days or however long these uh, milestone events are. I think I'll stop at 100 for these as well. We'll go like right under 100, we'll go at 95. Just because I've opened, at that point I'll have opened over a thousand. Boom. Easy clap. Alright. 1500, that's almost enough for, look, I got 21,000 just, just waiting, waiting for these characters. Most of these characters will be getting the gear 15 treatment at some point. Let's see, looking like all the other. Uh, major ones right around the same amount a little bit more of the health catalysts and it looks like a pretty rounded about 200 of every other piece no none of them got less than 200 pretty cool that is that that's how you open way too many orbs <laughs> um I think that might be it. I think I'll have some. Okay, yeah, I can open. Is this gonna open 10 of them? No, okay, good. Oh, yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. I got two good pulls out of this. I love this orb. This orb is great. You know what, let's open some more. Okay, I regret it. But we'll go, to, we'll go down to like 10. I don't need that. I finally, this this event, I finally, oh my god. Uh, got him to 7 stars so I could turn in all of the extra shards that I had laying around for him. Oh, yeah, we take that. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. every character I don't need is basically feeding into more so I'm gonna go redeem them and then we'll open some more so that right there that marks the 10 claim oh, I'll have about two more to open cool easy hella okay not too bad 600. I'm actually like really close to another one, so let's just open it. It's fine going down one more. Gamora. Will that give me the 380? Yes, it will. Cool. Um, just double check my orbs. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, I have 47 training orbs available. Very cool, very cool. Well, if you somehow made it to the 25 minute mark, you are a legend, and I want you to let me know down below. Just throw a comment and say, yo, 25 minute mark right here. And if you like this video, just give it a like, uh, thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to the channel, feel free to. I do post this kind of video every single time a character is released, uh, except for like once or twice, but it is what it is. Uh, I occasionally make other kind of videos for Marvel Strike Force, just not really all too often. If that's your thing, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, if you really feel like it, ring that bell, ring the notification. And I'll see you guys on the next one, which should be Iceman. Peace.